guys, David here, and welcome back to my channel, Creepy Passion. This week, I'll be telling you all about Carol, a 37-year-old woman who claims to be living in a haunted house. And she's inviting me to come to her house to investigate. And of course, I'm gonna go down and capture it all for you, my creepy, passionate friends. No matter where this takes us, I'm doing this just for you. Just for you guys. And by tomorrow, I'll be documenting all the happenings that are going on in her house. Ooh, and believe me, from what it looks like, I think this is gonna be a real spook fest. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. And remember, don't stop liking my videos, you little trolls. For those of you who missed my last post, I'm on my way to Carol's place. That woman that claims that there are ghosts inhabiting her house. <laughs> Is it a hoax? Is it true? Who knows? Who cares? But goddamn, if it doesn't scare the shit out of me. Look, it gives me chills. Have a better look. Whew, it's so dark out there. There's trees everywhere. It's like, Evil spirits could suddenly spring out of these woods and possess my soul, or a ghoulish witch could pop out and cast a spell on me. What do you think? Maybe I should reconsider and go back to where I came from. Huh? Nah. <laughs> I'm real, right? And real guys, we ain't afraid of nothing. And as a specialist of the paranormal, I guarantee you I'll follow this through to the end. So, we have a deal. If I made you come here and waste your time, I promise you, I will do my next video completely butt-ass naked. You said you wanted creepy things. Oh, I'll give you creepy things. Trust me. I have a fucking weird feeling about this, though. Come on, let's have a closer look at this lovely house. David Baker, right? Gee, it's like I'm famous around here. Someone give me a pen for an autograph. <laughs> Just kidding. I guess you recognize me from my YouTube channel? I'd rather say I wasn't expecting anyone but you. Nobody comes around here but the postman, and he doesn't come often. Besides, we had an appointment, didn't we? That's right. Uh, guess you heard my car pulling up. Your car? Did you notice the silence around here? There are no sounds. All one can hear are the wolves howling at the moon and the ravens croaking throughout the forest. It can be quite scary at times. But no. Actually, Severus smelled your presence the very minute you drove along the path leading up to my house. Cerberus? Keep still, Cerberus. Please meet my dog. He's the only creature on Earth I can really trust. And like human beings. Uh, your dog looks pretty threatening growling like that. Looks like he hasn't eaten in a long time because he's looking at me like a big old bucket of KFC. Don't worry. He will do you no harm. He's an obedient animal that only attacks on my command. Except, of course, when he's really starving. Like he was this morning when he met a grizzly bear wandering too close to my house. He ate it all and left nothing to the crows. See? I also have a sense of humor. Follow me. I will give you the tour and back to the house we will settle up. My grandparents bought this house more than 70 years ago. 
I just fell in love with it. Expecting a quiet life along with my mother far from the city. They found that peace for many years. Till eventually my brother and I were raised up here. We had a very happy childhood. As you know, it did not last. Here is a shed my grandfather and father restored many years ago. My father was a carpenter. He could fix any object with his arms. He would lock himself in all the time to care. And I would come to watch him do it. He was just so gifted with his hands. I can't think her worth a damn. But seeing all these old objects in here doesn't really want to make you stay around for very long. <laughs> Indeed it doesn't. Let's go back to the house. You, you brought your own tools and you will show me how you will use them. Okay. Okay, so this is how things work. I've installed cameras all over the house. It's recording everything that's happening here, day or night. Every person, every detail, every movement, everything, including you. So if any one of us crosses it, we'll see it directly on camera. Oh yeah, you can be certain that nothing will escape this top of the line security system. That said, don't pay any attention to them. And if, you know, for any reason you feel uncomfortable, just tell me and I'll stop recording immediately. You got it? I do, but please don't underestimate what may happen here. You don't stop recording whatever the cost is. I told you I have a sixth sense. Spirits and I can communicate. We have a special bond that can use as a bridge every time they want to give me their stories, their suffering. Anyway, you will see that by yourself sooner or later. I will just ask one thing of you. What is it? Tell me. Upstairs is a sacred place. Do not shoot or even enter my grandmother's room. You won't see her, for she's resting all day long and doesn't want to be disturbed. I want you to respect her. She's very melancholic and she needs to stay alone because of... I know, because of that tragic accident that left both your parents dead. Trust me. I'll remember. Anyway, I told you I can see things that people don't even imagine. I will know it right away if ever you come too close to that door. So, here is your room. Make yourself at home. It is not a luxurious suite, but you will find everything you need to spend a good night. You also have internet access, even though it barely works sometimes. And uh, if you need anything else, uh, please ask. Don't worry, that'll be fine, thank you. So uh, take your time to unpack and meet me downstairs when you're done. Uh, then we will start the interview. No problemo. Okay. See you later. See you. Okay. Little video memo. I... Little video memo. I don't know what's going on here, guys, but Carol seems completely insane. She keeps talking nonsense, and I think she's gone over the edge like a long time ago, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe it's a bad first impression, but I don't think so. And this house, it's, it's so cozy yet creepy at the same time. It's like there's this strange sensation here, as well as this heavy odor of mothballs. Anyways, before I go and interview Crazy over there, uh, I'm gonna go and film a, a little bit of the interior so that I can share it with you guys and really assess where I've set foot. Maybe this house is haunted after all. Who knows? If you don't hear back from me, it means I'm probably dead. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into?
looking for me? Oh. Oh. I'm right here. Well, I, I'm, uh, I was just, uh... We can start the interview now if you want. Okay. First, I didn't know what I was dealing with. Dozens of pictures were crossing my mind and I could barely understand them. They were flashing by. What kind of pictures? Red-eyed dogs, uh, dead birds, shadows on walls, wild animals in a dark forest. That's how you discovered you had a gift? No. Actually, I found out the day my grandpa's spirit shattered the living room's mirror to tell me that my grandma wasn't feeling well. I ran upstairs, found her on the floor. She had a heart attack. Luckily, I, I arrived in time to save her, but um, since that day I've been taking care of her, make sure that she gets everything she needs. Jesus, that's undeniably freaky. And you said those visions began after your parents' death, right? I'm sorry, that memory is not too painful. It's okay, we can take a break so you can relax. We'll start it again in a few. Severus, what's wrong? What is he staring at? Looks like he smelled something. Or he's seen someone. It happens so frequently that I'm used to it. Now, I, um, I like to think that my dog is peculiar. That's reassuring. But as long as he doesn't look at me like a juicy bone, we're cool. Easy, Cerberus. Easy. Shh, shh. Chill. I didn't do nothing. I was just watching, okay? I'm going now. I'm going now. up to.
are doing here? I gave you instructions, didn't I? I told you my grandmother doesn't want to be disturbed at all. I'm sorry, I, I was just looking for the toilet. Go back to your room, now. And if I ever catch you trying to open that door again, I will have to ask you to leave for good. Okay. Jesus, just get the hell out of me. I almost shot myself. I got a weak heart. Me either. David, I'm so sorry for being tough on you earlier. I hope you're not upset. It's my fault. You warned me I should have known better. It serves me right. I didn't mean to be offensive. I, I hope you will forgive me. Sometimes when you live on your own, you can forget about your manners. I'd like to make it up to you. Maybe we could. That's not a good idea. I came here to promote my channel, not... Let's keep it professional. I'm going back to bed. It'd be for the best. See you tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, this is so crazy, but the owner has already managed to freak me out. She's gotta be a schizo or something for sure. I swear, there's something wrong with her. She fucking scares me. She's gonna make me regret having come here in the end. I know it. Up to now, I've been sacrificing myself for you guys. And I'll keep pushing through, I promise. But if anything else goes down or she tries anything funny, I'm out this joint. So what if my naked ass becomes a topic of all social media? Carol, do you need anything? I'm sorry. Do you need anything? I will certainly ask. Thank you. Please go back to sleep, okay? Oh, nice. Thank you. Fuck. This chick's a complete nutcase. She did all that. Yeah. She has to have like a double personality issue or something. I knew it. I should have trusted my instincts from the beginning. 
I'm wasting my time here. There's no freaking ghost in this house. It's the goddamn lunatic. Fuck. What the hell? Where'd that plate come from? Her grandma did that, obviously. She stayed to the side to make me think there's something else going on. I did it. There are two screw jobs living in this house, and they've invited me here to fuck with me. Well, fuck that. I'm gonna have a little talk with Granny. Then I'm out. Are you fucking kidding me? Carol, sorry for disturbing reading time, but we really need to talk. So, what do you want to talk about? That's precisely it. It's about your grandmother. I told you not to talk about that. You know what? You need to change your attitude, Carol, or me and my gear are getting the hell out of here. I don't like being played. There's nobody up there. Oh my gosh, you fool! You couldn't help yourself, could you? The earth was stronger than you. You had to open Pandora's box. I want you out of here and now! Yeah, well, maybe it'll be the best for the both of us. You can stay here and languish in self pity and misery. I hate when people waste my time. Oh, there are ghosts in my ass. Bullshit! Here's the fucking mental case. David, wait! I I'm sorry. I, uh, I will tell you anything you want to know. D please don't go. Okay? Here is where she was buried. I needed to keep her by my side. And I want to lie next to her when I die. My grandmother meant everything to me. We were just so close. And even though she's no longer alive, I can still communicate with her. You mean you have a special hereafter credit to keep in touch with the dead? <laughs> No. I inherited this pendant from her. It is like a bridge that allows us to see and talk to each other through the other side. Which is why I preserve a room the way it was. So our soul can come and go freely. Can you see her now? I mean, is she close by? No. She decides when she wants to come. I see. I know how difficult it must be for you, but thank you for being honest and telling me the whole story. 
Uh, no, thank you for being so patient and understanding. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. By the way, now that there are no more secrets between us, do you think I could talk about your grandma in my next video? Well, why not? I mean, uh, we would argue about everything when she was alive because she was a bit deaf, but uh, now I guess she would be flattered that somebody would talk about her. But please don't make fun of her, okay? She can be a bit touchy. Oh! Are you okay? Do you believe me now? Or do you still think I'm just a mental case? And then there was light. <laughs> Thank you so much, David. I really appreciate it. Oh, come on. It's nothing. I'm your guest, right? Well, you're uh, a bit more than that. What do you mean? Um, that I asked you to come uh, to investigate in my house, but um, <clears throat> there's another reason too. Um, I've been watching your videos for a while, and... Um, I, I, I really like you. <sighs> Carol, you're a really lovely woman. But I didn't come here to find love. I came here to find ghosts. So, let's behave like adults and focus on the task. Okay? Sure. Damn it. Come on. The salesman told me this was the best equipment on the market. Can't even watch the fucking playback. Come on. Can't even play. Play! Damn! Maybe it's not the gear after all. Maybe there's some interference around the house. It's weird. I don't know. Severus! 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 Carol! What's wrong? Severus! Carol! It's Severus, he's not here anymore! What are you talking about? He must be around here somewhere. No. I've been calling his name for about 20 minutes and he's not coming back. Does he usually behave this way? No, no, 
it's the first time and I really have a bad feeling. Wait, 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 let's not jump into conclusions, okay? You know what? If it'll reassure you, uh, how about I go for a walk and find him, okay? Maybe he just saw a wild animal and chased it into the forest. Come on. Go inside the house. Have something to drink. Go on. I'll be back in a bit. I promise. Hey, who's there? Hey, stop running, I saw you! Hey! I can't tell this to kill. The truth will kill her. I have to do something. Think to you have to do something. Come on, focus, David. Focus. So, did you find anything? I'm sorry, I... I came back empty-handed. I, I looked everywhere. I called his name throughout the forest, but he left no trail. I have the feeling that something very bad is going to happen soon. Oh, come on. Maybe he'll find his way home eventually. He won't. How can you be so sure? I just feel it. So how about calling the police? No, 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 leave the police out of it. Who cares about a crazy woman and a lost dog? Yeah. How is your investigation going? Did you find anything unusual? Well, there's definitely something going on around here, even outside. But I don't know exactly what. Even my gear isn't working properly. It's like there's some kind of interference around the house. All my footage is completely blurry. It's like someone's trying to erase everything I've managed to capture up to now. And what do you think it could be? To tell you the truth, it, this is all beyond me. I Don't worry. I'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sure you will. Anyways, I need a break. I'll, uh, I'm going to go into town and get some batteries for my microphone. I won't be long, okay? 
<coughs> David? Yeah? Um, please be careful. So many things may happen on the road. Well, damn, there's not really a lot of stuff in here. Then again, this town's right in the middle of nowhere. What else should I expect? Batteries, there we go. Nope, nope, ah. Ta-da! Perfecto. Let's see what else we can find. Pantyhose, nope. Toothbrush, nope. Hi, sir. Do you mind if I film you? I'm doing a little coverage on the area. Oh, you urban folks, you're driving yourselves crazy with this technology. <laughs> Y'all wasting what's worth in life. Well, I ain't seen you around here before, but you have a kind face, so you go ahead. You have your phone. You go film me there. Never too late to get famous. <laughs> <laughs> so, young man, how long you planning to visit, huh? You know somebody who lives around here? Oh, you staying in town, right? That'll be five dollars, please. Uh, just a few days. I'm actually staying with uh, someone who lives near the forest, so, you know, I'm staying up next to her, in her house. Oh, you don't... You don't mean you staying over Miss Anderson's house, do you? Why not? Well... Come see, young man. I don't know what your reason is for getting here, but you take my advice. You don't hang around long at that woman. She raving lunatic. Nothing but trouble. Whoa. Always something happening. Wrong. Around that house. So, believe me, you get out. Oh, you still can. I always thought that woman one of them witches, like they used to burn alive. Here. Keep the change. Oh. David! Oh! Home at last. What happened? Did you get lost? Uh, not really. I just wanted to visit the town. Sit somewhere, have a drink. You know. And did you meet anyone interesting? Not really. Uh, it's a small town here. People don't like strangers. You don't say so. How about you? Any news about Cerberus? No, still no. Well, hope is gone, I fear. Oh, come on. Don't give up. You never know. Mm. I made some macaroni and cheese. Do you want to have dinner with me tonight? No, thank you, Carol. I'm actually quite tired. I'd rather go up to bed if you don't mind. Maybe next time? Sure. Next time.
Carol! Hey, Carol, I'm fucking talking to you! What am I doing here? What, what the fuck just happened there? Are, are you fucking kidding me? David, come down! I don't even know what you're talking about! Stop lying to me! What do you think I am, some kind of fucking idiot? Huh? What do you think was gonna happen? You're gonna fuck me like some kind of succubus? What? No! You know what? I'm done with this shit. David, don't! No, no. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I trusted you. And you disappointed me. So now it's over. This time you won't be able to make me stay. I'm not fucking getting out of here. The only ghost in this house is you. Yo guys, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but for the last four weeks some crazy stuff has been happening in my, in my place. Ever since I came back from Carol's place, I mean that crazy psycho bitch's house in the woods, I haven't, I haven't had a peaceful night's sleep since. I swear, I've been hearing all sorts of weird noises and, and feeling all these kind of weird incidences happening. Something's happened. I'm not sure what exactly, but something's fucking happened here. And I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to take it. I just wish I could make it stop. If I can't find a way to fall asleep, I'm gonna hit myself over the head with a fucking baseball bat. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh yeah, he's, he's lost it for sure now. No way. I've set up cameras all over my place and I'm gonna prove my case to you. And you'll see for yourself soon enough. Jeez. I really feel like someone's put a curse on me. Yeah, Frank, it's David, bro. Um, you think you could swing by my place? I really need to talk to you. Hey man, what's going on? You wouldn't even imagine. Uh, I, I really can't talk about it over the phone. Do you think you could swing by? Yeah, sure, sure. I'll, I'll come by like in an hour or so, all right? Okay, perfect. See you in a bit, dude. Some freaky shit, man. It's, it's fucking hard to believe, hey? Look at you, buddy, you're a wreck. What are you gonna do, man? You're in, you're in deep trouble. What? what do you think I should do? You think I think I should go back to the house and no, man, and no see way. What's going on? No, forget about that place. But you, you gotta look out for yourself, man. It's here. It's infiltrated your place, your home. Maybe uh... you should try to get in touch with um, a professional. You know, one of these medium guys or whatever. No, no, I'm serious. You know, I know a guy from work, right? Huh? Yeah. Um, you call him up. You know, tell him your story. He'll come and take a look. I don't know what they do. Maybe he can contact that thing. Yeah? Get... 
No, seriously, maybe he can make it go away. Come on, bro. You think... I'm, I'm, I'm a wreck, I'm not a fool. Hey, Dave. You gotta wake up, man. All right, shake yourself. This is, this is, this is like... I mean, you're in trouble. Your, your life is maybe in danger. Okay, okay. Who's there? I know someone's there. Show yourself. You, spirit, whoever you are and wherever you are, please tell us your name. Let me ask you again, spirit. If you're with us in this room, please tell us your name and tell us why you're here. Let me ask you again, spirit. If you're with us in this room, please tell us your name and tell us why you're here. Okay, Carol, can you tell us what's the reason for your presence in this house? Okay, Carol, can you tell us what's the reason for your presence in this house? What kind of danger, Carol? 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 Ah, Jesus Christ! Man, the goddamn hell is going up! Are you fucking shitting me? Look, that... That can't be Carol. Why would it be Carol? She's not dead. You know what? This is a load of bull. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to say this, David, but in my opinion, you lost touch with reality, son. Some things may not hold true anymore. It seems like the situation has changed now. What do you mean? Well, in my opinion, that poor woman may be dead now. And that's why her ghost came to you, to warn you that she needs your help. Like an SOS. No way, man. Look, I, I don't know what kind of 
game you're playing or what kind of act you run, but you're just nothing. Hey, watch your mouth now. Show some respect or I just leave this place at once. Don't forget I'm doing you a favor just because Frank asked me to, okay? But if you prefer to handle this by yourself, so be it. Be my guest. I don't care. I'm sure my expertise will be more useful to some other people who are going through the same kind of hardship. Okay, well, you think you're so much smarter than me, Mr. Kabowski. Let's see what Carol has to say about this. The number is disconnected. Um, she's unreachable. <laughs> Surprising, isn't it? Look, I know you're friends with Frank and all, but I don't want to ruin your friendship, so you need to get the fuck out of my house because what you do here is a joke. And you, you're nothing but a fucking charlatan. All right. You're making the wrong decision, and you're doing a big mistake, mm -hmm. David. Yeah. Well, I'm a big boy. I think I can handle this myself. What the fuck were you thinking, man? You can't talk like that to everybody. I mean, you've crossed the line there, buddy. What? I mean, th that guy, I told you he's a respected professional. He comes to help you, you know? I mean, he, he was just trying to help you. That's not what he did. What? What? What did he do? Come on! You called him up, he came right away. Did, did he ask you for any money? Ha! Ah, I wish he did, because he ain't worth a damn cent. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Don't fucking talk like that, you ungrateful prick. This guy, I mean, he's like, he's somebody, he's a big guy. He comes, he, he looks around, he's working, he's doing his stuff, and you blow him off like that? What the fuck is wrong with you? Huh? I mean, look at you, you're tired, you're angry, you're tense. You know what? You know what? Anyone could have done that. That, 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 that hocus pocus bullshit. You know, he really worked you over. I expected a lot more. You know, you probably told him everything he wanted to hear to say right back to my face like I'm some kind of dumbass bitch. Are you listening to yourself? Are you fucking listening to yourself? What are you talking about? I haven't spoken to the guy in months. I called him up just to help you out. Yeah. Damn it, man. I'm just... I don't know what to think anymore. I just, I just want this to stop. I can't... I can't... I want to throw it all away! All right. All right. Okay, don't fall apart, yeah? You fucked up. That happened, yeah? Well, you know... Just apologize to Mr. Kowalski. You know, he'll understand. We know. We know you're not feeling well. All right? Just... For the time being, I don't know. Uh, just try to relax, all right? You know, grab a beer. You know, watch some movie or something. Maybe you can get some female company. Huh? <laughs> you still got the number for that French girl? Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Casanova. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You're a good friend. You always know what to say. Thanks, buddy. Mm, nice nails. I have a different color. For me? Or yes. for someone else? For you. Oh, I like this dress. It's Thank like expensive. Oh, come on. Turn that camera off. I thought you wanted to have fun. Remember what you said on the phone? <laughs> I do. So, what are you waiting for? I thought I was going to be with a real man tonight. But I guess I've come to the wrong apartment. Ah, uh, trust me. You haven't. Come here, baby. Let me show you my skill.
Ça va se voir. Thanks. It's nice to hear comforting words at the moment. You will come. I should go. I will call Cap. No. Please don't go. I could really use the company. Not. I don't want to be alone. Something really did scratch her. But it wasn't me, it was, it was that ghost. But why would it scratch her? It had nothing to do with me. Uh, hi, Mr. Kabowski. Hi, David. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I really need to warn you about something. Warn me about what? I couldn't help myself digging into that haunted house in the forest. As well as this enigmatic Carol who communicates with her dead grandmother. Did you find anything useful? Well, I know you think I'm some kind of charlatan. And I won't hold it against you for you're not the first. I've learned not to hold your grudge. But you do listen to this now. I found a newspaper article in the archives dating back 15 years ago. And guess what? A rich elderly woman was found dead on the estate. She was the owner and adoptedly Carol's grandmother. And it all happened that she was murdered. Certainly for her money. And it all goes back to the family inheritance. Are you serious? I, who would do such a thing? Someone named Jerry Anderson was just released from jail about one month ago. He was the old woman's grandson, and therefore, Carol's brother. Brother, yes. Okay. Ho hold on just one second, Mr. Kowalski.
getting someone I've been trying to warn me, to open my eyes. And all those incidents, they were just signs that I was just too blind to understand. There's something going on in that house. I, I could feel it all over. And Carol, she needed me. She needed my presence, my protection. And I, I couldn't face the truth. I treated her like some crazy woman without even hearing her out. Just abandoned her like, like a cow. I'm such a fucking idiot. I'm sorry, Mr. Kabowski, but I gotta go. David, don't. Why not? Initially, I called you today to tell you about the real story. But it's also because I had a vision. I had a dream last night, David. I saw you dying. You're in tremendous danger. Please believe me. Don't go back there alone. It's too late to play hero. Just call the police and let them handle it. No, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Kibowski, but I have to do this myself. I, I, I have to go back and, and see what happened to Carol. If not, I'll never forgive myself. I need to find out what's really going on in that house. I help you? Uh, good evening, sir. Actually, I just wanted to talk to Carol for a minute. Is she home? I'm a friend of hers. Who? Carol. Carol Anderson. No, you came to the wrong place. No one named Carol has ever lived here. Sorry. Are you sure about that? Because I spent a few days here in this house about four weeks ago, and I'm pretty sure this is the same address. You must have mistaken this for the other house back there in the forest or something. There are plenty of houses like that. I've been living here for years. And I swear to God, I'm the only one here. That's for sure. I would know it. And I have something on the stove back there I gotta go. Of course, go ahead. I'm leaving anyways. Thanks for helping and sorry for disturbing you. Sure. Who the fuck does that guy think he is? That's impossible. I lived inside this house. I, I slept inside this house. I recorded every room inside that house. No. 
That wasn't my imagination. All that was fucking real. What about Carol? What about Cerberus? What about what about the fucking grandma and that weird fucking shit that happened in there? No! I can prove that that was true! That's not my imagination! I... I have the footage. I can prove all that happened. I can go to the police right now and tell them exactly what happened. Fuck him. Who the fuck does he think he is? Oh, there's something fucking going on here. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm fucking going crazy. Am I... Fucking know.
He was right. That son of a bitch killed her. Killed his own sister. She was... I need to call... What the fuck you doing here? I told you not to come back here. Huh? You really had to stick your fucking nose where it doesn't belong. I had to put an end to her fucking suffering, as a matter of fact. All she wanted was just to stay with Grandma again. So I decided to give her a little help. You're gonna join them, you son of a fucking whore. Oh! <laughs> Thank you.